Now at six, a new scientific breakthrough right here in Columbus may help keep PFAS or forever chemicals out of our water supply. These chemicals are dangerous because they don't break down in the environment or in our bodies. From lipstick to your frying pan to the fast food container you ate out, ate out of, all of them contain those forever chemicals. Well, 10 TV reporter Kevin Landers got an exclusive look inside the machine called the Annihilator. It's a story you will see only on 10 TV. So this here is the reactor where uh, the PFAS is destroyed and it breaks the carbon fluorine bond within this reactor. It's called the Annihilator, developed by Battelle scientists to combat one of the most perplexing problems in the environment called PFAS. Scientific evidence shows that the way you're going to be most exposed to PFAS is through drinking it. Until now, removing PFAS or forever chemicals from water proved unattainable. The chemical used in common household products to create non-stick items never breaks down in the environment or in our bodies. The CDC linked the chemicals to cancer and birth defects. We are destroying PFAS at its source. Battelle discovered a process that uses high heat over a thousand degrees and hydrogen peroxide to break the chemical bonds that allow PFAS to form. So was that the aha moment, was trying to break down that chemical bond that had never been broken before? That's correct. Designed in Columbus, this machine inside a shipping container is the first of its kind and is marketed towards landfill operators, cities, and military bases. Once the annihilator treats the contaminated water, what's left can be put back into the environment without a trace of PFAS. For two decades, Battelle scientists have been studying the impact of PFAS. For now, the annihilator will destroy any water contamination, but soon it will be used in soil and solid contamination. That's what we're currently working on to advance this technology to be able to handle solids. With the goal of keeping PFAS out of your drinking water forever. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Meanwhile, Central Ohio firefighters are turning in more than 2,000 gallons of firefighter foam to be destroyed. It's part of Governor Mike DeWine's <laughs> Take Back program announced in March using this annihilator technology to remove toxic chemicals from the foam. The state fire marshal says this is the best way to get rid of the environment of these hazards. We're fortunate that with the foam that's in containers, uh, that's fairly simple for us to, to eliminate and remediate. Uh, but yeah, it, this foam is known to be a carcinogen. The take back for Central Ohio is at the State Fire Academy in Reynoldsburg and it runs through Thursday. Well, last month the EPA announced nationwide drinking water regulations to protect you from these forever chemicals. You can find Kevin's story on our website with much more information, 10tv.com.